thank you dear lokesh and uh, respected chairpersons uh, today i am going to talk about the importance of point of care testing and devices in the in management of diabetes and our clinical practices and uh, just to set up the context it is uh, what is a point of care device so point of care device is a very interesting topic and it is a often talked about diabetologists as well as the tech and just people and any device which can give clinical results on the spot is a point of care device so a uh, point of care device has evolved over a period of time so simplest point of care device you can think of is a glucose meter glucose meter gives you reading instantly and you are able to know that what is the blood sugar level there is a ecosystem there is a patient doctor test and doctors routine flow is that the doctor comes to the patient write certain test after uh, the reports so of the these, uh, these tests will come after some time maybe a day or two and then the patient again has to come back to you to get the reports evaluated the routine flow but can we break this cycle so there are certain tests like for example hba1c now you can do hba1c right at the point of care and reports are available within 2 to 3 minutes so the process which was getting delayed up to 2 to 3 days and sometimes the patient may not even return after the prescribed time and you may not be able to take a decision until 2 3 days you are able to take the decision immediately this is how the cycle changes when you in incorporate point of care devices into your practices also telemedicine can also be considered as a point of care delivery only because the evaluation of the reports doesn't require patients to come back to you once the reports are available with you, you can always uh, go back to the patient to the patient and uh, advise to the teleconsultation all i will not go into the details of the definition because uh, i know uh, i am lucky to have at least few uh, listeners in the hall I must be waiting for your lunch but this is the basic definition and there this table defines all the point of care devices so these devices can be whether operation uh, can be classified on the basis of their operation utility sampling result reporting cost as well as the analysis and you can see that huge plethora of testing which is available to you right from the rapid test kits thermometer for example in infectious disease you can simply uh, do a hbas uh, hepatitis b c and uh, c antibodies as well as you can do a uh, typhoid or test just these are all a malaria kit all these are point of care devices similarly in diabetes you can do a retinopathy examination point of care itself you can do hba1c you can do urine albumin creatinine ratio you can do a crp level also so there are certain things which are available to us immediately there are different barriers in using point of care devices in india and one of the patient's perspective is that patient sometime may not be having that much money immediately to uh, spend on the test patient may not have come prepared for the testing also also there are patients who will be delaying the testing simply don't want to get tested because they know that the reports i think it is a common experience of all of us you will say that do an hba1c i am talking about hba1c because this is the most common test which we ask the patient will say doctor doctor i was not doing well i was not keeping good lifestyle i was busy in marriages and all please don't do it this time and i will get it done after 3 months when i come to you next time so there is a tendency to delay because they don't want to get the information immediately and they don't want to see the result this is just like a kid who has not performed well in the exam so he would not like to get the report card immediately so he would like to delay he would wait for the teacher to uh, delay the uh, delivery of the report card to the parents also doctors they have they are they have uh, they sometimes not all the poc uh, devices they are standardized so we have to be very careful in choosing the standardized device also we don't have that much time most of the time to speak to the patient explain point of care device and see them again in the same consultation because the flow is that you will ask for the test patient go for the test and again he will come back to you in few minutes for the discussion of the report so this changes your workflow also it needs uh, you cannot do each and everything on your own you need a dedicated staff who will be performing these point of care testing so uh, we cannot do hba1c or the urine acr of all the patients it is the staff which is required and in government institutes or in maybe other institutes there may be infrastructure requirements there may be regulatory issues and the other factors conventional point of care devices are the glucometer bp instrument pulse oximeter you know stethoscope weighing machine thermometer monofilament tuning fork handheld thermoscope these are conventional point of care devices but what can be added in a clinical practice we can do hba1c urine acr even lipid profile can be done on the spot crp retinopathy with the ai enabled fundus camera new generation stethoscope are available now they can you can record the heart sounds 
and they are AI tools which can analyze the heart sound and tell you that what kind of rhythm is there and what kind of diagnosis you may suspect. And they are handheld neuropathy devices also which can give you the diagnosis of the neuropathy instantly. Uh, I will not go into detail, uh, much detail. Compliance with recommended frequency of HbA1c testing has been well studied and the treatment frequency is also very, very important. So 70% of the patients who are tested and treated according to the ADA guidelines, they met HbA1c goals and only 30% met HbA1c goals if they did not meet guidelines for either testing frequency or the modification. So the, in nutshell, uh, this, uh, this slide conveys the message that those who test more frequently, they're likely to have a better HbA1c or better glycemic outcome than those who do not test at all or the, uh, those who reduce their frequency of testing. This is the workflow which I just discussed that how being a POCT device can change the workflow of your clinic. And this is uh, the same, uh, uh, same circle which I'm talking about. POCT, uh, it uh, increases the compliance with the testing frequency, reduced. I will just share my experience with you. Uh, I am using a point of care device for HbA1c for two years. I was not using it before that. Uh, but what I have found is that now more than 95% of my patients, they will instantly do an HbA1c. Now it is, they, it is known to them that I am coming for a consultation after three months. This is something which I need to done. It needs to be done. So now the flow has changed. It, uh, I need not to write again that you do an HbA1c and come back to me. They will do an HbA1c, pay the consultation fees and now they are coming to me with the POCT based HbA1c device uh, reports. Another important thing is that many of the times the, the common question that comes to our mind is that is the report accurate? So there are trials and studies which says that the reports are accurate but I don't know whether it matters to you or not but I would like to share my personal experiences. Now you know that the routine blood test sometimes we also like to order lipid profile. We also like to test TSH, KFT. So when we ask these three, four tests to the patient, the patient will take a package. We are not asking the HbA1c to be repeated again. But by default, because that package patient says that talks of all reports are getting done again, there is no harm in checking the HbA1c again. So I have seen in my case that HbA1c, if the POCT device is telling 6.4, 6.5, it may vary 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 minus. I have not seen <laughs> difference more than that. And this is my experience with more than three to 4,000 patients. So this is how the POCT devices, they can actually change our practice and uh, they are very, very important, I think. In coming time, we will be able to do a KFT as well as the LFT. There are startups who are working on this and you will be able to get the creatinine report immediately. You will be able to get the SGOT, SGPT reports immediately. So this is the things which are changing and this is making the consultation faster and the uh, uh, follow-up also easy for the patient. Also, uh, it is seen that the reduced HbA1c, uh, these sites, these are simply the workflow and the POC reduces steps and inefficiencies and it improves our workflow. Uh, also, many of the times we talk about the cost, that this test is more expensive. Probably, uh, the test will be more expensive than the one which is done in the lab by routine testing, but it, uh, but it saves other cost also. For example, the patient need not to travel back again. Also, if you are writing a test and you are not getting the report, still we will write some medication. Because we know that the RBS is high or something, there is a problem with the glucose level. You will still write some medications. The patient will buy these medicines for next two, three days. The pharmacist will not give an open strip. He will still sell the full pack to the patient. And after two, three days, seeing the reports, you would like to change the medication. So this is again a loss to the patient. So once the reports are available, we can uh, change this workflow. And ultimately, the patient has the benefit if a POCT device has been incorporated in the clinical practice. So uh, there is also improved satisfaction. Uh, this is again a slide which shows that the patient who, uh, they found these are the questions and uh, 298 patients were asked these questions and they found that uh, the finger stick blood con uh, testing done through the finger stick puncture, uh, prick, uh, they found it more uh, easy. They were more satisfied. They were also more satisfied with the instant of the result, the accuracy of that. So impact of, on satisfaction is uh, positive and there are multiple studies in the trials. And this is uh, in a slide which is that the HbA1c test identified more chronic hyperglycemic 
blood glucose test and the point of care hba1c test in the chance for diabetes occur compared to the standard practice i would just like to some of the slides so if we look at the advantages and the critical aspects of the point of care hba1c is the biomarker the gold standard method for the diagnosis of diabetes with international guidelines they recommend keep a track of hba1c value every 3 months and sometimes more frequently or less frequently right in addition international guidelines have included hba1c measurement among the method for the diagnosis therefore using the poc hba1c testing can be guided upon monitor for the pre diabetes type 1 diabetes as well as type 2 diabetes clinical advantages of in clinic for diabetes management improved turnaround time often less than 5 minute reduced therapeutic turnaround time rapid results to uh, patient management improved monitoring the, there are more chances that the patient get tested improved convenience only a small sample size if uh, a drop of blood is required and ability to provide laboratory test in both locations for outside laboratory hours this is again very important laboratory have fixed hours sometimes you sub, suppose it is uh, give a sample in the evening around 7 pm the so most often uh, you will get the answer that report will be available next day the same day report will not come we cannot uh, if we we are doing some camps uh, and if we are going to some remote site uh, the reports will not be available but these point of care devices you can carry because they are very small they are very portable and uh, in uh, we were uh, dr rakesh parik is sitting here and we attended the attd and we were invited into the yes, speakers we saw many devices and even dr pratik choudhary has shown that the time has come where hba1c will also become non invasive so uh, very soon we may have devices where the patient only need to place their uh, thumb or finger on some uh, uh, pointers and you will get the hba1c as so this is very uh, true and uh, this is going to happen very fast also uh, this is not going to take too much time there are very recommendations for the cl in clinic poct for diabetes management in india and you can find lot of big names lot of our mentors teachers who have authored this Uh, this uh, article and i think it is very very good article and all of you must go through this this is the recommendations for the clinic point of care testing for diabetes management in india and if you are running a diabetes clinic i think this article will be very good assistance for you to identify the devices which important thing about any hba1c uh, testing is that it should be having an acceptable performance standardized and ngsp certified simplified operation good memory to store the device should be able to for the data as well and it should be able to share the data uh, with the clinical management software there uh, i'm just showing you some other examples for example this is a smartphone based uh, fundus camera which operates uh, which can take the good quality retinal images without dilating the eyes dilating the pupil so we need not to do uh, any dilatation and almost 90% of our uh, patients we are able to screen them for retinopathy without dilatation with good quality retinal images you may say that we are not perfect in assessing the retinal images sometimes we may not be able to predict whether the images are right uh, are uh, fine or there is some evidence of retinopathy so ai comes handy here and these devices are backed with artificial intelligence and the automatically within few seconds the ai based tool algorithm will tell whether this patient is having retinopathy or not this is different point of care devices which i use in my clinic here you can see the test like pulse oximeter glucose meter bp instrument and we have a, a, fun, a state of the art fundus camera we have a, a, a simple machine which can do hba1c as well as the urine acr and the crp also we can do different testing point of care testing in the form of foot examination the doppler the assessment of the other cardiac autonomic neuropathy now pseudo scan devices are also available which can give you the assessment of the autonomic dysfunction in patients with diabetes so my own experience with poct is that it is convenient low cost maintenance requires very less space easy to perform more patients get ready for the poc as the results are available immediately it improves care allows us to detect complications early and is cost effective and this is the and these are the challenges in indian in our healthcare system we are definitely burdened with less manpower regulatory issue may be there sometime we may not have adequate infrastructure and there are open communication gap between doctors and the patient also um, uh, we need to be very careful for example the criteria and advantages of any pos devices should be kept in mind and these are it should be affordable sensitive specific user friendly rapid and robust and equipment free <clears throat> and delivered to the needy
so it is very very important to uh, look parameters and that paper which i showed will be very helpful for you uh, in determining these parameters with this i won't talk you much for the, the lunch and i would like to uh, conclude here thank you